In this video, we will demonstrate how to deploy DX NetOps flow in a Kubernetes cluster. First, we will configure the Kubernetes cluster that will host the flow application. Log into the staging system and extract the flow Kubernetes distribution package. Navigate to the directory shown and locate and open the hosts file. We will be making some important edits to this file. Locate the K8S hosts section. This section lists all systems that will host and form the Kubernetes cluster. Edit the values to use the IP addresses and SSH credentials for every Linux system that will be part of the Kubernetes cluster. Next, locate the K8S control plane init section. This section lists the master node, otherwise known as the control plane server. Enter the values to use the IP addresses and SSH credentials for the Linux system that will host the control plane server. If we were to deploy control planes in HA mode, next we would locate the K8S control planes section and add the IP addresses and SSH credentials of the other master nodes to this section. Otherwise, the K8S control plane section can be left empty. Locate the K8S workers section. This section lists the worker nodes that form the cluster. Edit the values to use the IP addresses and SSH credentials for the Linux systems that will host the worker nodes. Do not include the control plane server in this section. Save and exit the hosts file. With the hosts identified, we can now create the Kubernetes cluster by running the command shown. After running this command, we may see system messages warning that we have skipped some steps. These messages can be disregarded. At any time after this step, the Kubernetes cluster setup can be undone and Kubernetes uninstalled with the command shown. The system is finished creating a Kubernetes cluster. Now we can create the directory for the Kubernetes client configuration file using the command shown. Next, we will copy the Kubernetes configuration from our control plane server. Enter the command shown. Replace username with the name of the passwordless sudo user for the system hosting the control plane server. Likewise, replace control plane IP with the IP address for the system hosting the control plane server. To test that the Kubernetes client is up and running, we can use kubectl, the Kubernetes command line tool, to return a list of Kubernetes pods. Run the command shown. Navigate to the directory shown and locate and open the hosts file. We will be making some important edits to this file. Locate the K8S hosts section. Like in the other hosts file we previously edited, this section lists all systems that host the Kubernetes cluster. Edit the values to use the IP addresses and SSH credentials for every Linux system that is part of the Kubernetes cluster. Save and exit the hosts file. Next, we will import container images by running the command shown. When the system is finished importing container images, we can import the needed Helm charts for deploying flow in a Kubernetes cluster. Helm charts are similar to templates for configuring and organizing a Kubernetes cluster. Navigate to the NetOps flow K8S distribution Helm directory and run the command shown. This will install the necessary Helm chart for Apache Kafka. Flow will post metrics to Kafka for other applications, like DX NetOps Performance Management, to subscribe to. The Helm chart provided in the Flow distribution package will configure Kafka to create topics for those metrics. Note that if we already had a Kafka system to be used with Flow, we would skip this step and make sure to configure the Flow Helm chart accordingly. Also note that this is a sample Kafka deployment, and its security protocol is plain text.
Every Kubernetes cluster wraps one or more containers within a pod, and those pods have unique IP addresses that can only be pinged from within the cluster. We need to wait for the Kubernetes pods assigned to Kafka to enter a running state before we move on. Use the command kubectl get pods to monitor the pods, checking the status on NetOps Kafka 0 and NetOps Kafka Zookeeper 0. Once the pods are running, create the topics Kafka will use for flow by running the command shown. Now that the Kafka Helm chart is deployed and Kafka is configured to work with flow, we can start deploying the flow Helm chart. This will require the information noted in our previous processes in the video Prepare to Deploy DX NetOps Flow. When the flow pods are in a running state, flow is finally deployed. Run the command kubectl get pods and check the status of any pods with names that begin with flow or netops hazelcast to verify the flow pods are up and running. We have now successfully deployed dx netops flow in a configured Kubernetes cluster.